The U.S. Department of Education defines Hispanic serving institutions or HSIs as institutions of higher education that are one, eligible institutions, and two, colleges and universities that have an enrollment of undergraduate full-time equivalent students that is at least 25% Hispanic students at the end of the award year immediately preceding the date of application. To be designated as a quote-unquote eligible institution of higher education, an institution must apply for and receive designation through an application process. Eligibility for the HSI designation is determined along with other minority serving institutions or MSIs under Title III, V, and VII based on one, the number of needy students or those students who receive Pell Grants, Federal Supplemental Educational Opportunity Grants, federal work study, and federal Perkins loans. Two, the minimum percentage of students from specific racial ethnic backgrounds, which for HSIs is 25%, and three, core expenses per FTE. Institutions are provided with an eligibility letter and able to apply for competitive funding to address the educational needs of the specific population they are enrolling in high numbers. For HSIs, the Developing HSIs Program, or DHSI, offers capacity building grants to expand educational programs and improve the academic outcomes of Hispanic students, with much of the focus on enhancing academic offerings, support programs, and faculty pedagogies. Each year, the DHSI program has competitive priorities based on emerging needs of the United States but often aligned with increasing access, persistence, and completion for Latinx and Latine students. As it exists by this definition and guidelines, the HSI designation is a federal construct, mostly defined by descriptors of students and institutions. The federal government does not mandate that HSIs do anything to become effective servers of a population of students that has been underserved by the U.S. educational system. Instead, the competitive grant process opens the meaning making about the HSI identity to the grant writers and implementers who submit them. This reality has led to the question, what does it mean to actually be Hispanic serving? In research, scholars have tried to describe and conceptualize servingness, and in practice, educators have tried to define and enact it. Yet 30 years has passed since the HSI designation was officially acknowledged with the reauthorization of the Higher Education Act in 1992 and amended to Title III, and we are still trying to figure out what servingness is. According to Excellencia in Education, the number of HSIs has increased 185% since 1992, from 189 to 559 colleges and universities. And the number of Latinx students enrolled in HSIs has increased 329% from 490,000 to 2.1 million. There are also HSIs in 30 states and Puerto Rico. The number of Latinx and Latine students entering colleges and universities will continue to increase, as will the number of HSIs. As such, we have reached a milestone in the evolution of HSIs, where we can no longer leave the meaning making to the competitive grant process. Whether an institution seeks federal funding or not, Latinx and Latina students will still be present and still need to be served. I'm Dr. Gina Garcia, a proud daughter or alumna of an HSI, a former Title V DHSI grant implementer and a scholar of HSIs. I've dedicated my career to trying to answer the question, what does it mean to be Hispanic serving? And the purpose of this po podcast, Que Pasa HSIs, is to do the same. With each episode, guests will grapple with questions about servingness, emerging from their research with HSIs and their practice within HSIs. What you will find is that there is no one answer to the servingness question. Join us weekly as we dive into the history and evolution of HSIs, culturally relevant and liberatory practices, current and emerging research with HSIs, and the policies that shape servingness.